So like, oh my gosh, this chapter, like, it was a bunch of flashbacks, and this chapter of Naruto was some flashbacks, like, things that we already know, like, just Obito got, gained his powers because he wanted to protect Kashi, and so he stabbed the guy, and he, he finally showed his showing on, and then it showed real Kenkashi and um, Obito gave him his eye, so it's like a bunch of flashbacks in the first part of it. But I like the part where he goes, he's asking how, why, why do you do this? And just Obito goes, because you let Rin die. So yeah, he just basically told Kikashi off. Um, yeah, that was really awesome. Um, but I don't, I wanted more Kikuri. How did he survive? It was not that much. It was just like. Flat out, you let Rin die. Okay, now I'm gonna have to kill you. Not, no story how I survive. Uh, no one was like, screw him, let's just fight him. If he's still alive after this, let's just keep on going and kick his ass. So I'm like, oh, okay, no one was doing well, but it's just like, really? Oh my gosh, Kikashi, you could have a. Oh, because you could have told him a little bit more, like, how did you survive? That's a big story. All we know is you got crushed. There's no other way. Unless the, um, Mandela just suddenly appeared out of nowhere to save you. After you crushed. After they all left. He just came out of nowhere and saved you. That's my theory. Mandela just came to save you, and that's how you guys know each other. He, sa he saved you from getting crushed to death. Completely. That it healed your body, and all this stuff. But at the um, it then it shows like Obito's abilities more than just his showing gone about disappearing stuff. Now, um, his, it's like fire type thing that Naruto like totally took down with just his tail of the um nine tails. But at the very end was the most shocking part. Like after all that, who comes um to Obito's side? Madaron. So don't on the same side right now. Kikashi versus. Naruto, I mean, Kikashi Naruto, Kill a, well, I call him Kill a B, B, Guy versus Obito and Maru. But one thing I want to know, how did he slip away from the, um, five Hokages? Hmm? Let's see. Uh, hmm. Oh, I know. Um, here's my favorite. When he did the Shadow Clone stuff, he took one of his clones and put it as the main guy that they were supposedly fighting him. And just slipped away while he was fighting all five. That's my theory. It could happen because you know what? How how any of this right now can happen. But I like that at the very end he goes and Madro enjoys the fight. The story is heading to towards a its final climax. So you you know that Obito and Madro is gonna get their asses handed to them by Naruto. Or Naruto's gonna get his ass handed to them. That would suck if Naruto dies. Um, yeah, but I like this chapter. It was really good. It kept me on suspense. Like, why is he doing this stuff? I finally got that reason. I always knew it was Obito, but I never expected the reason why. I thought he'll be like, oh, because you let me die. Is that reason? But I never that Rain will have to do a part of it. But yeah, I'm not surprised it was not. It was Obito. I always suggest that it wasn't Obito. I never had any doubts except for that one time when I got confused. So yeah, I'm really happy that this fight is getting to its final climax. But the story means it's gonna end soon. So I'm not happy about that. I've been reading Naruto since the beginning, and if Toby or Obito. Whatever you guys want, how you guys want, winds up becoming good after all this. I'm gonna be really mad, okay? Because he goes on a rant, he kills his comrades, he kills everyone. He's killing people that he don't know, friends he don't know. He's been manipulating the game since the very beginning. If he finds surviving just because Naruto goes, oh, you don't have to be like this, oh, like how you did with um pain. I don't know the like, not. Not even, well, you know who I'm talking about. Oh, but yeah, I not want to see like goes. Oh, yeah, you can be good. You can be that. No, you need to kill him. It's 
basically simple. Kill Obito. And Mahajor. But Mahajor's invincible. So yeah, I'm waiting to see um the story with Sasuke and um Oshimaru. Let's see what's going on there. But yeah, that's mostly what I'm basically wanting to see right now. It's because right now this stuff, but I want to see what they're doing. I'm hoping the fight between Naruto and Sasuke is coming up. Hopefully, that's coming up. We it's been much in competition. My hair will look really nice on this camera. Hmm. So yeah, um, yeah. So hopefully Naruto wins against Obito. I'm funny, funny. Someone's opponent's gonna die in this fight. So Kakashi or guy or B. So let's see what's going to happen. Okay, bye. Okay, if you like this, so comment, subscribe, and more will be coming on the way. So yeah.